There are, around the world, hundreds of UFO sightings every year. UFO sightings in the Red Gate area near Deer Lodge has been a hot spot for UFOs and the paranormal, including one Deer Lodge resident who captured something very strange on a trail camera recently. Deep in the wilds of Montana's Red Gate Forest, Hunter Donald Bromley's camera caught something chilling. A strange, gray creature with a big head and long arms, almost ghost-like, appeared in the photo. This place, near Deer Lodge, is known for weird sightings and UFOs. Bromley's camera, hidden in this spooky forest, strangely ran out of battery way too fast. These and more shocking sightings are about to be revealed. Join us as we explore what this man captured, which no one was supposed to see. An alien in disguise. Donald Bromley spoke to a TV station about a strange place known for weird events. Often there are lights in the sky that no one can explain, and odd things happen a lot. He said that cars sometimes just stop working on the road nearby without any good reason. The more Donald looked at a photo he took, the more he thought he had captured a picture of an alien. He noticed how the figure in the photo looked different from people, with a big head that seemed too large for its body, and it looked like it wasn't wearing any clothes, almost invisible. Donald thinks the figure is an alien in disguise because it doesn't look like anything from Earth. He said he has lots of cameras in the woods, all running on batteries that should last a year. But when he checked this camera, it had stopped working after only two months. The last photo it took was what he thinks is an alien. Donald doesn't believe this is just by chance. He feels the picture can't be of a human, especially because of where the camera was, far from where people usually are. This story gets even more interesting with the history of strange lights and events in the area. It makes you think there might be more to our world than we see. Donald's story adds to this mystery, making us wonder if there are beings from other planets visiting Earth. He also talked about a very remote and private farm where he worked. To get there, you have to travel a long way, several miles. Plus, you need to walk down a steep path, dropping about 1,000 feet to get there. It's almost impossible. He also found it odd that none of the other cameras nearby were triggered. Usually, if something moves near them, they start recording. But here, even though one camera caught something strange, the others didn't show anything. This is puzzling because if a person or animal was moving there, you'd expect more than one camera to notice. This suggests whatever was on camera did so without triggering the usual sensors, or it was a one-time thing at the spot where the odd image was taken. This adds to the mystery, as it's hard to see how someone could move through such tough terrain without setting off other cameras. After exploring a hidden farm, we look up to the skies of Scotland where strange lights and stories wait. The Bonnie Bridge Incident Bonnie Bridge, a cozy town nestled in Scotland's lowlands, is surprisingly famous for something out of this world. It's a hotspot for UFO sightings. This little town, though not the first place you'd think to look for UFOs, has been nicknamed the UFO capital of Scotland. Why? Well, it's because the sky above Bonnie Bridge is like a stage for about 300 UFO shows every year. And it's been that way for three whole decades. You might wonder, why does this peaceful town have so many UFO visits? Located in the scenic Bonnie Water Valley, Bonnie Bridge sits right at Scotland's heart, not too far from big cities like Edinburgh and Glasgow. This easy to reach location might be part of the reason. But there's more to Bonnie Bridge's UFO fame than just the number of sightings. It's the consistent, year-after-year -year reports that really grab people's attention, including those who are super into UFOs and experts in the field. This ongoing mystery sparks lots of questions. Is there something unique about Bonnie Bridge's location or its atmosphere that attracts otherworldly visitors? Perhaps its position in the valley offers a clearer view of the sky, or maybe the locals are just more keen on stargazing. As Scotland's UFO hub, Bonnie Bridge has caught the eye of people worldwide. UFO researchers, enthusiasts, and skeptics alike 
flocked to this small town, all hoping to catch a glimpse of the unusual aerial phenomena often reported there. The experiences vary. Some talk about bizarre lights dancing in the night sky, while others describe silent, spacecraft-like objects gliding close to the ground. These tales have not only put Bonnie Bridge on the map for those curious about extraterrestrial life, but also fueled a larger conversation about the possibility of life beyond our planet. Bonnie Bridge sits in an intriguing spot for UFO sighting, right between Scotland's bustling cities. This frequent UFO activity stirs our curiosity about the universe and life beyond Earth. Whether you're a UFO believer or not, the tales from Bonnie Bridge are a treat for the imagination and could, perhaps one day, shed light on the cosmic mysteries. Interestingly, Bonnie Bridge's story began around the 1780s, during the construction of the Forth and Clyde Canal. Its strategic location was perfect for moving goods, boosting trade throughout Scotland. As the Industrial Revolution rolled in, Bonnie Bridge grew thanks to its prime position at the crossroads of four major railway lines. This growth sparked various industries, from papermaking and timber cutting to brick manufacturing and iron forging. Even after the train stopped running, new highways for cars and trucks kept Bonnie Bridge thriving as a business hub. Bonnie Bridge is more than just a town with a rich history in business and industry. It's a place with a truly unique tale, one that's quite different from the ordinary. This unusual chapter in Bonnie Bridge's story started in 1992, and it's what turned the town into a name known for something completely different. That year, a local resident named James Walker had an experience that would change Bonnie Bridge's reputation forever. He was just driving from one town to another at night when something incredible happened. He had to slam on his brakes because there, right in front of him, was this dazzling star-shaped object just floating in mid-air. It was like nothing he'd ever seen before. Understandably, Mr. Walker was really scared. Anyone would be. He didn't stick around. He drove off as fast as he could, and the mysterious object zipped away into the night and vanished. But Mr. Walker's story was just the beginning. After that night, more and more people in Bonnie Bridge, as well as others interested in UFOs, that stands for Unidentified Flying Objects, began sharing their own bizarre experiences. Some drivers reported seeing odd lights hovering over their cars, while others spotted things in the sky shaped like huge cigars or heard loud noises from things zooming overhead. Some of the most astonishing claims came from people who said they were taken away from an area now known as the Falkirk Triangle. They told stories of being abducted by aliens and examined inside spaceships. These accounts transformed Bonnie Bridge into a place of intrigue and mystery. It became famous not just for its industrial past and its contributions to the world of business, but also as a hotspot for unexplained aerial phenomena. Now, Bonnie Bridge has two very distinct identities, one as a key player in the realms of work and industry, and the other as a central figure in tales of space mysteries and extraterrestrial encounters. This blend of everyday life and extraordinary events gives Bonnie Bridge a unique charm. The town's industrial history talks of hard work, development, and human progress. In contrast, its UFO stories open the door to a world of imagination and unanswered questions. These tales invite people to ponder the possibilities of what might be out there in the vast universe. Whether it's the stories of the workers who shaped the town's past, or the witnesses who gaze up at the night sky, Bonnie Bridge offers a fascinating mix of reality and mystery, making it a place like no other. From Bonnie Bridge's history, we explore deeper mysteries in Scotland, where strange connections are made. The Unknown Triangle. In a place called the Falkirk Triangle, which is a bit like another mysterious place known as the Bermuda Triangle, there are lots of stories and guesses about it being a doorway to another world. People say that in Bonnie Bridge, the barrier between our world and another is really thin, thinner than anywhere else in the UK. This makes people believe that Bonnie Bridge might be a special spot where it's easier to slip from our world into another one. 
Some folks think that the Falkirk Triangle isn't just a random place with weird happenings, but more like a space road or river that flows right through the area, similar to a real canal nearby, the Forth and Clyde Canal. They imagine it as a path that goes from outer space into the Scottish lowlands. But whether these ideas have any real science behind them is a big question that people often argue about. For a long time, in the Scottish Highlands, there have been stories about mysterious lights floating in the sky that don't seem to have any explanation. A lot of times, people think these lights are caused by natural gases coming from the wet, swampy ground. These gases can light up and create what's known as ghost lights, or will-o'-the-wisp, and they're a common part of many spooky stories in Scotland. These floating gas balls are what some people think might explain the sightings of small flickering lights moving across the land. But even with this explanation for the smaller lights, there are still a lot of stories and reports about bigger and noisier mysterious events that can't be easily explained. These bigger mysteries leave people wondering and asking more questions about what's really going on in the Falkirk Triangle. Is it just natural swamp gases playing tricks on our eyes? Or is there something more unusual and harder to explain happening? The idea that the Falkirk Triangle could be a sort of cosmic highway or a stream connecting our world to another dimension or space is fascinating. It paints a picture of a world that's much more mysterious and magical than we might have thought. While scientists and skeptics might not agree on the explanations for these phenomena, the stories and experiences of those who have witnessed these mysterious lights and events add a rich layer to the folklore and mystery of the Scottish Highlands. Whether it's a gateway to another universe, a natural phenomenon, or something else entirely, the Falkirk Triangle captures the imagination of people worldwide. Thinking about mysterious connections, we learn about the first sighting of flying saucers and the start of UFO stories. 9. Bright Blue V Shapes So are we looking at a shape-shifting UFO here? Or could it be some kind of secret craft developed by a nation here on Earth? The story behind the phrase, flying saucers, starts with Kenneth Arnold. He described the objects as looking like the curved part of a moon, oval at the front and bulging at the back. They shone like silver, reflecting light and had the round, flat shape of a pie dish or a saucer. Kenneth Arnold, a pilot who flew planes for fun, is often remembered for being the first person to see something in the sky that no one could identify. This event is why many people today are fascinated with flying saucers and the mystery surrounding unidentified flying objects. There are many people who study the skies who either believe these objects could be visitors from other planets or completely dismiss the idea. They have debated back and forth about Arnold's experience for a long time, making it a topic of great interest. On June 24, 1947, while flying his small plane near Mount Rainier in Washington, Arnold claimed he saw nine bright blue things moving through the sky faster than any plane, about 1,700 miles per hour, arranged in a V shape. This sighting happened at a time when the world was just entering the Cold War and was not far removed from the end of World War II. Arnold first thought what he saw might be a new type of military aircraft. But the military said they weren't testing any planes in that area at that time. The term flying saucer became popular when newspapers reported that Arnold said the objects moved across the sky like a saucer skipping over water. Not long after Arnold's report, others began to see similar things. A man looking for minerals on Mount Adams and a commercial flight crew in Idaho also reported seeing nine strange objects in the sky. These stories spread quickly throughout the area. The government and military never provided a clear answer about what was seen. They suggested Arnold might have been seeing things or mistook a natural phenomenon for something else. However, the excitement and curiosity about UFOs had already taken off. Shortly after Arnold's sighting, the infamous Roswell incident happened, adding even more fuel to the public's fascination with the idea of visiting aliens and their spacecraft. 
This period marked the beginning of a long-standing interest in UFOs, which continues to intrigue and puzzle people worldwide to this day. Our story takes us to Turkey, where new adventures in the search for aliens begin. Serious Space Science Research The story of aliens in Turkey, Haktan Aktugan, a well-known figure in Turkey who studies UFOs and firmly believes in life beyond Earth, founded the Sirius UFO Space Sciences Research Center in 1998. The main goal of this center was to connect with other UFO research groups worldwide and share findings about mysterious flying objects that no one can fully explain. The center aims to prove that humans aren't the only smart beings out there. It works with a diverse team that includes scientists, people who study human societies, airplane pilots, and experts in human behavior, showcasing their collaborative efforts on its online platform. Aktogan also shares stories about people in Turkey and other places being taken away by UFOs for research purposes. This idea that aliens abduct humans for experiments has been a topic of fascination among those who follow UFO stories around the world for many years. Akdogan warns that these aren't ordinary aircraft. He tells tales of individuals who were supposedly lifted into spacecraft by beams of light while they slept and then subjected to various experiments. Up to this point, there have been about 470 reported UFO sightings in Turkey alone, as per Akdogan's records. He also talks about nearly 120 people in Turkey who these aliens reportedly took. Some of them were said to have been left with alien implants or tiny microchips inside their bodies. There's also this remarkable video that emerged from Turkey, showing what appears to be two alien beings peeking through the window of their spaceship, hovering in the Turkish skies. The figures in the video have the large teardrop-shaped heads that many of us automatically think of when we imagine what aliens might look like, making the footage even more astonishing. The Turkish government's official stance makes this case even more intriguing. The authorities in Turkey have confirmed the authenticity of this UFO video, lending a significant amount of legitimacy to these claims. This acknowledgement by the government has sparked even more interest and debate among those who follow UFO sightings and believe in extraterrestrial life. The idea that we might not be alone in the universe and the possibility of other intelligent beings visiting our planet has captivated the imagination of many, not just in Turkey, but around the world. This ongoing curiosity about the unknown and the efforts to understand it continue to fuel discussions and research in the field of ufology. The video we're talking about is 100% real, at least that's what every expert who has checked it out says. This includes companies that are really good at graphic design and people who know a lot about videos and movies. They all agree it's the real deal. Now, if this video isn't just some big trick, it changes everything we thought we knew. It would mean that what we believe about religion and the history of humans might not be right after all. And yes, it strongly suggests that outer space is full of different alien species. We're talking about aliens of all sizes, from really tall ones to super small ones, and everything you can imagine in between. Everyone from top-notch graphic design companies to video and film experts has taken a close look at this video. They've all come to the same conclusion. It's authentic. This isn't just a few people saying it's real. It's a unanimous decision from the best in the business. If it turns out that this video isn't a clever hoax, then it's a game changer. It challenges our entire understanding of religion and human history. It opens up the possibility that outer space is not empty, but filled with life, with aliens ranging in size from giants to miniatures, and includes an incredible variety of life forms we've never imagined. On a quiet night, a strange sight in Fresno blurs the line between what's real and what's not. Hidden Aliens in Fresno in the middle of the night in Fresno, California, have you ever wondered if an alien might be hiding nearby? Our brains can go on quite the adventure when everything is quiet and dark. Sometimes, we think we see things that aren't actually there, 
because our brains are trying to make sense of the dark shapes and shadows around us. You might even start to believe you're seeing things that aren't real. If you told someone about it, they might just say you're imagining things. But what if you're not? What if there was actual proof, like a video or a photo, that showed you really did see something strange? Would you be more likely to believe your own eyes then? Back in 2017, a guy named Jose had a night where he just couldn't sleep. So he decided to look at the video from his security cameras at his house in Fresno, California. And guess what? He saw something really weird on camera. It looked like a white monster, but it didn't have a head or arms. It looked more like a pair of white pants moving all by itself. In the video, this big spooky thing dashed across Jose's lawn. Seeing this freaked Jose out big time. After he watched the video, he really wanted to find out what it was he saw. So he posted the video online to see if anyone could explain it. But nobody could figure out exactly what it was. Then, there was another video that popped up in 2011. Someone was out exploring Yosemite Lakes Park and recorded something that looked just like the weird thing from Jose's video from 2007. But this time, there was more than one. There was a smaller one following the first one, which made people think maybe it was a baby version. This video was longer than the first one because the creatures didn't seem to be in a rush. After this video came out, the Fresno Nightcrawlers became super famous. The more people heard about them, the more they claimed to see them. There's even talk about them showing up in Ohio, though no one's got that on tape. Since these creatures became known, people all over the world started making art and selling stuff with the Fresno Nightcrawlers on them. But the big question is, are these Nightcrawlers real? A lot of people think they are. Some folks don't buy it. They think it's just a person with a sheet over their head and some fake legs. But the fans of the Nightcrawlers don't agree. They say the creature's legs are way too long and the body shape is too weird for it to be a person. Plus, they argue that if it was just a sheet, it would have flown off when the creature ran. Whether the Fresno Nightcrawler is a real thing or not is still up for debate. Believers and skeptics alike keep trying to prove their side of the story. It seems like those who believe in the creature are sticking to their guns. No matter what you think, it looks like we won't know the real deal about the Fresno Nightcrawler until it decides we should. Leaving Fresno's mystery, we go back to Texas for a famous light show in the sky that puzzled many. Project Blue Book One evening on August 25, 1951, a remarkable event took place in the skies over Lubbock, Texas. This story involves three college professors from Texas Tech University who were spending their evening outdoors. As they relaxed, they suddenly looked up and saw something extraordinary. A group of lights moving quickly across the sky, forming a half-circle shape. This unusual sight came to be known as the Lubbock Lights. A young student named Carl Hart Jr., who was just starting his studies at Texas Tech, managed to capture photographs of these mysterious lights. His pictures were so striking that they caught the attention of newspapers all across the United States. Even Life magazine, a popular publication then, featured his photos, spreading the story even further. In the days that followed this sighting, many people from Lubbock reported seeing similar lights in the sky. The town was buzzing with stories and theories about what could have caused such an unusual display. The United States Air Force took an interest in these reports and decided to investigate through a project known as Project Blue Book. This project was specifically set up to look into reports of unidentified flying objects, or UFOs. After a thorough investigation, the official explanation given by Project Blue Book was quite mundane. They concluded that the lights were merely a reflection from birds flying by, which were illuminated by the bright new streetlights installed in Lubbock. However, many people who witnessed the lights found this explanation hard to believe. They argued that the lights moved too fast to be just birds reflecting light. The debate over what really happened that night in Lubbock continues, with some people convinced it was something more mysterious than birds. This event remains a fascinating topic for those interested in the unknown and the unexplained. 
After the Texas lights, a new tale in Level Land shows us more nighttime wonders and questions. The Close Encounter in Level Land, Texas. In 1957, something strange happened in Level Land, Texas that would later influence a famous movie scene in Close Encounters of the Third Kind. This real-life mystery involved what many thought was an alien spaceship making cars stop working or even causing them to crash. Imagine driving at night and suddenly seeing bright unknown lights or what looks like a rocket, and then your car just stops or loses all its power. That's exactly what happened to a lot of people in Level Land. At first, when these people told the police and other officials about what they saw and what happened to their cars, the authorities didn't believe them. They thought it was just a story or a prank. But as more and more people reported seeing the same strange lights and experiencing the same problems with their cars, the officials started to take it seriously. Hay even saw the mysterious lights themselves when they looked into the reports. So they decided this was something that needed further investigation and sent all the information to a group called Project Blue Book, which was responsible for looking into UFO sightings and reports. Project Blue Book's job was determining what happened in Level Land that night. After reviewing everything, they concluded that even though no thunderstorms were reported in the area, the strange lights and the car issues were caused by an electrical storm and something called ball lightning. Ball lightning is rare in which lightning forms into a ball instead of a bolt. This explanation, however, didn't sit well with many people. They found it hard to believe that ball lightning and an electrical storm could cause such chaos, especially since there were no thunderstorms in the area that night. It made some wonder if there was more to the story than what was officially explained, leaving a sense of mystery and many unanswered questions about what really happened in Leveland in 1957. Following Leveland's strange events, we find ourselves in Tehran, facing a mystery that challenges what we know. The Tehran Shocking Event. The event known as the Tehran Incident happened in Tehran, Iran, on the night of September 19, 1976. It started when several people living in Tehran got very concerned after seeing a very bright light up in the sky. They didn't know what it was, so they quickly called the authorities to tell them about this strange and shining light. This wasn't the first time something like this had happened. There were many other times when people saw unusual things in the sky and reported them. The military decided to check out what was happening, so they sent out an F-4 fighter jet to take a closer look at the mysterious light. The pilot flew towards the light to investigate and figure out what it was. However, as the pilot got closer to where the light was, something very unexpected and scary happened. All of a sudden, the instruments and controls inside the plane, which help the pilot know how the plane is doing and where it is going, stopped working. They just went completely dark, as if they had lost power. This was a big problem because the pilot needed those instruments to fly the plane safely and to find out more about the bright light. Because of this, the pilot had no choice but to turn around and go back to the base. He couldn't continue the mission to investigate the bright light because it was too dangerous to fly the plane without all the instruments working properly. This meant that they couldn't find out what the bright light in the sky was that night. The incident left everyone with a lot of questions and no answers. It was another mysterious event that added to the list of strange sightings in the sky that people had reported in the past. What do you think these lights really were? Birds, lightning, or something more out of this world? Share your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more.